Welcome guys, so we are now going to look at it, part 3 of marriage paper 2 for the year 2024 for GCE. So if you missed uh, part 1 and part 2, so make sure you go through it because part 1 covered question 1 and 2, part 2 covered question 2 and 3. So we have question 5 which is coming from the topic of genetics and we know what genetics is. So genetics is all about it. The study of inheritance is a branch of biology that tells us how characteristics are transferred from one generation to the next generation. Now, the first question is why we look at the question A, one, what is mutation? So in biology, under genetics, there is what we call mutation. Now, if you study genetics carefully, in uh, the cell let's begin with the cell organization inside the cell we have the structure or organelle called the nucleus the nucleus controls all the activities or we can say it controls all the metabolic reactions that occurs in a cell then inside the nucleus we have the chromosomes so chromosomes are thread-like structures then inside the chromosomes is where we find the genes. Then inside the genes is where we are going to have the DNA, so the proteins such as DNA. So now, the DNA is made up of some nitrogenous bases, which is we have number one, we, are, we have adenine. Then the second one, we have thymine. The third one, we have guanine and the cytosine. Let me just put it here. So, if you look at uh, these bases, they are bonded to each other. For example, thymine, denoted by uh, capital letter T, is bonded to uh, adenine A. Then, guanine G is bonded to cytosine C. So this is the normal arrangement of these nitrogenous bases uh, in a cell. So in a case where the arrangement is broken or there are some errors during a DNA replication or during the cell division, the T may be bonded with uh, the cytosine. So in a case where this T bonds to a base that is wrong. This is what we call uh, a mutation. So mutation, we are looking at this one as a change in the DNA sequence of an organism. So it can be as a result of a DNA replication during the cell division. So this is just an, an example. I just wanted to give you an example of how we can have this mutation. So it's where one uh, base uh, bonds to another base, which it is not supposed to bond to. Right, so now mutation will say is a change. So is a change in the DNA. Sequence. The DNA sequence of an organism right and uh, in some books you may find that we have two types of uh, mutation there is a uh, gene mutation the one that I've explained it then we also have chromosome mutation so chromosome mutation deals with the number of chromosomes we know that the normal human being must uh, have 46 chromosomes yeah, so in a case where a human being has 47 we know that 47 is greater than 46. So that is a chromosome mutation because it's abnormal. Right. So we can now move on to question number two. Set two causes of mutation. So mutation can be caused by exposure to radiations. So exposure to radiation. Then exposure to chemicals. Then apart from chemicals, are uh, viral diseases. 
So viral infections, we are looking at infections that can be caused by a virus. So now we can move on to question number B. So question number B, we are told a couple, both with normal, uh, normal skin color, produce an albino. Explain using a genetic diagram how this would have been possible using the letters A and A to present gene for skin color. So I'm going to first begin by man. Then here we are going to have woman. So let's begin by parental phenotype. So parental phenotype, we are told that both the parents were normal. So here I'm just going to say normal skin. Then also here normal skin. So if the parents were normal for this particular trait, then what happened? So this simply means that these two parents see, were a carrier for albinism. So when writing parental genotype, since they were a carrier, we are going to have a capital letter and a small letter. So capital letter A represents normal skin, small letter A represents the defect skin. So this is the normal skin but this person has a career of having an albinism uh, child. Then we move on to this one. So even this one will have the same genotype. So where are we getting this concept? Because we are told the two parents were okay. So we move on to parental gametes. So for parental gametes, we just have to to separate so we have capital letter a small letter a we just split the letters then after that we need to now cross so we have a a so this person or this is the probability that this couple has a chance of having a child who is 100 percent okay or who have no skin color then there is another chance of having a son or daughter who is a carrier. Then another carrier. Then for albinism to occur, we need to have a mosaicus for small letter A. So this is small letter A and also small letter A. So this is the uh, point or a chance that shows albinism condition. So this is how we can explain. Then we'll say genotype of F1. So this is how we are supposed to answer. Then let's just look at the questions that came on section B. So section B, answer questions, 36 marks. Answer any three questions from this section. Write your answers in separate answer. A booklet provided all answers must be in complete sentences and in paragraphs so you need to make sure that you understand this condition then question a we have described uh, cholera as a disease under the following so methods of transmission how is cholera transmitted signs so signs how can you tell that a person has a cholera then treatment is how can you treat or help someone with cholera? Methods of control. How can you control? Same as it. How can you prevent the spread of cholera? So that was this question. And I'm going to make a video very soon where I'm just going to focus on these essay questions because answering biology is also a skill. Question 2a. Describe the movement of water and transport of mineral salts from the roots to the leaves so here we have to look at the, the absorption of water and mineral salts then the movement we need to look at the osmosis then we need to look at the active transport then we also have to look at the factors 
that affects the movement of these materials from the roots to the leaves. Then B, describe the adaptive features of a leaf that help reduce excess loss of water, which is the transpiration. So this question is as what adapt adaptive features of a leaf that reduces the process of transpiration. So we'll look into this. Then question three, air, explain the meaning of the term homeostasis. So this has to do with the, the balancing of water and uh, salt ions. Then describe the role of the liver in the regulation of number one, high blood sugar. So here we need to look at the hormones such as the insulin, then the glucagon, because these two works uh, opposite to each other. Then body temperature, we know that the normal body temperature should be 37 degrees Celsius. So how does the liver help the body to make sure that the temperature is normal? Because we know that high temperature may denature the enzymes, then the low temperature may make the enzymes to be active. So move on to question number four. Yeah, describe the menstrual cycle in human beings. So menstrual cycle, you can just also look at the calendar. So you need to look at the three phases. We have the lactal phase, we have uh, after the lactal phase, we also have uh, ovulatory phase and we also have uh, luteal phase. So you need to explain it in terms of uh, we include a calendar if possible. Then also the hormones that are responsible for menstrual cycle and the importance of menstrual cycle. Then explain the possible risks of using contraceptive so conception is the process of having a, a child then contraception is the process of preventing the pro pregnancy from uh, taking place so contraceptives are uh, we can say pills or medications or methods that can help one not to get pregnant at a certain period of time question five explain how plant and animal species can be sustained so this has to do with uh, part of ecology, then uh, biodiversity also comes in. Describe factors that cause change in population size. So population may increase or decrease. For example, if we have this as our population size. So there are two factors that can make the population uh, Increase so the first one is it birth weight. So birth weight increases the population size. Then immigration. So immigration, the one with I tells you the number of people that comes into a country. So when we have people from other countries entering in our country, the population of our country will increase. Then there are also two factors that makes it the population to decrease. The first one is death rate. Then immigration. Immigration is the leaving of people into another country. So you can just look at E, exit, I, in. So for more, come for online classes. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.